Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Suzanne. Um, I remembered that you guys are gonna give me four before we start our question of the day and the activity today. So everybody give Miss Suzanne four. Eyes are watching, ears are listening, voices quiet, bodies calm. This is how we listen, this is how we listen at group time, at group time. So, question of the day. Today's question of the day is, how many, mm, let's see if it'll fit, windows are in your house. So, Miss Suzanne cheated. I already counted all my windows. You guys might need to go count your windows now. You can pause it or you can count them later. Um, you can think about how many are in each room. Uh, here's a window right here and I have another window over there. But in my whole house, I have 10 windows. A one and a zero makes 10. I'm gonna draw them. This is how I draw windows. And you can draw windows on a piece of paper for how many you have. That might even help you count them. One, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's count them together just to make sure Miss Suzanne drew enough windows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's how many windows are in my house. Now it's been a couple days since we did our pom-poms for our party day. Um, remember, I need your guys' help figuring out what we're gonna do for our party day. And since you can't vote here and me count your votes, um, you gotta ask your moms and dads to message me on Class Dojo. They know what it is. Um, I've sent them invites and some of your parents are already talking to me and um, being able to see some suggestions that I'm giving for fun stuff to do at home. But I need to know what you want to do for your party day. So the last day that we put a pom-pom in was Tuesday. Today's Friday. So I need one for Wednesday, one for Thursday, and one for today. Ooh, the bottom's already starting to get filled up. Before you know it, we're going to have our party day. Every day, even if I'm not making a video, I am going to still put those pom-poms in with you guys so you can see. Now, today, I had gotten permission to do some of the same yoga that we do at school from Yoga for Children. Um, I talked with Miss Lisa and she gave me permission to do them with you as long as I let you know um, or let you see the box and let you know what cards we're using because she made these and then we bought them from her and so that we I could teach you at school but I really wanted to teach you at home too and Miss Rachel let me take a box home so we could do it together. Does anybody remember what our first pose is? That's right, easy pose. For easy pose, you sit on the floor, remember? And you put your hands on your knees, you straighten your back and you take some deep breaths. You can close your eyes. Feel your body relaxing. 
And this helps you self-regulate too. I like easy things first because it helps my body relax and get ready for some yoga. I am going to use these magnet clips to put the yoga poses on the board so we know which ones we've done. So the first one was easy pose. Oh, you can even roll your shoulders a little. Right now I'm rolling them back. Now I'm going to roll them forward. You can keep your hands on your knees. You can bring them up to here. Just kind of relax your body. And that helps us get ready for our next pose. Who remembers what pose this one is? That's right. It's the flower. And the flower has an open flower for when you breathe in and a closed flower for when you breathe out, that's exhale. So when you inhale, you're going to open your flower and make it bloom. Bring your hands up behind your, your head and you can lace your fingers if you want. And breathe in. Push your chest out. Oh, that's an open flower, a blooming flower. When you breathe out, close your flower. Breathe in. You can also bring your hands down when you close your flower. Oh, stretch your body. Oh, it feels so good to stretch my back. Oh, that's a flower. That helps to stretch us. It helps us know when we're breathing that we want to open everything in our chest when we inhale. And we want to sink it back in whenever we blow our air out. Oh, I know you guys love the flower. Since this is my first time getting to do the yoga with you guys, I decided for the last yoga pose we're going to do today, I wanted it to be my favorite. Who remembers what my favorite yoga pose is? Dun, dun, dun! That's right! Happy baby! Oh, I love this yoga pose and I love to watch you guys do this yoga pose. Um, if your moms and dads can, they can even take some pictures of you doing your yoga and send it to me in a message on Class Dojo. <gasps> Hi, Ron. You are so in the way. <laughs> are you going to do happy baby with me, Ron? Let's see. For happy baby, this helps our back feel better. And it helps us kind of get into that happy place. Obviously, happy baby. So for happy baby, you want to lay on the floor. And you want to grab your feet up in the air. Sometimes I like to rock a little bit. Oh. It feels so good for my back. Bring your knees down into your armpits. Do some stretching. I love happy baby. I miss you guys. I miss getting to do yoga in the classroom with you. Oh, happy baby. Oh, that feels good. And don't forget moms and dads, you can do this too. Yoga can be done for the whole family. Oh, Ron, I need you to move, bud. You're blocking the camera. Sit. <laughs> and don't... <laughs> no yoga for you. Go. Go. <laughs> the dogs love it when I get on the floor and do yoga. Um, they're used to me having a yoga mat, and that way they know not to step on it. So maybe next time I'll bring my yoga mat out um, so the dogs know not to get on it or in the way. So we will be doing more yoga videos later um, with some of your favorite poses. If you have a request for a yoga pose, like I know some of you like the eagle, the warrior, the triangle, the star, the mountain. Those are some of your guys' favorite yoga poses, but I don't know which ones to do first. I did my favorite. I want to do your favorite. So... 
have your moms and dads send me a message and let me know your favorite yoga pose. And I will do another video um, so that we can do your favorite yoga pose together. Thanks, guys. Bye.